this shortcut is very long. Oh, oh boy, very sloppy. Oh. Oh. Oh, it has been a while. It's been a crazy it's journey, It's been man. probably two months since we last played. I don't even remember what last boss I fought. I remember you fought the WWE guy. Oh, Who's that like, was Welcome it. Welcome to my ring. Yes, we fought Senator oh Armstrong. Yes, it totally is Senator Armstrong. We got Raiden from Metal Gear Rising, and we got Senator Armstrong. Now shader compiling. Mm -hmm. What the heck is this? This is Liza P. This is the launch screen. You just normally don't see it. Corbin, what mods did you add? There are no mods. I've never seen that screen This before. is default. I don't think there even are mods to this game. Maybe there are. I haven't looked. Oh, well, here we are. The Isle of Alchemists. According to the guide, Vanini visited that place. So, if you recall from the last cutscene, you almost fully killed Hulk Smash Man, but then he was instead stabbed by that one character with the spiky helmet from Shovel Knight. And then Top Hat Man was like, ah, oh, this was my plan all along. I'm going to go to my island now. And then went to the island. <laughs> my hair is like blowing in my face. It's awful. <laughs> hey, it's these schmucks again. What are you doing here? We love these schmucks. <laughs> they abandoned me last time when I had to fight the rabbits for four hours. Ciao, <laughs> Bello. Brother, you should say hello to your friend that we are in something of a bind. My young brother here is slowly but surely losing his very sight, his windows to the world. He needs vitamin to A. a terrible, slow working illness. What is vitamin A? That is why I seek the gold coin for one of the essential vitamins. It's said to work humans. miracles. And do well, I ever yeah, know I, I know that. The That's why it's called the flippin vitamin. I was curious what it does. But not enough to cure. Please, don't make me beg. He needs this. It'll be as easy as eating your weight in bombaloni. Bombaloni? What is bombaloni? I have no idea. Let me add this to my favorite word list. Yeah. <laughs> there. Can, can you hear me? Please. The gold coin <laughs> you... is the only thing that helps. Can you spare any? This guy is full of As crap. a personal favor. <laughs> this, they are full of it, and I, I don't believe them for a second. But I mean, I, I don't believe them either. But it's really just up to you on whether, like, oh, does this mean anything? Do I care about the gold coin food? It's true, we do. Want to see where this goes? I don't know. Yeah. It's up to you. I'll give it to them. We knew you were a true friend, and generous. Better not screw me over That's with right. this later. I liked you from the start, you know. Here. A small token, but it's Ooh, a gift stuff. from the heart. Now go. <gasps> oh, shoot. Oh, record. Okay. She taught you how to beg. Sweet. <laughs> taught me how to beg. Ray, I can panhandle now. It is their secret island. A place hidden from the world. But even if we could find it, how to get there, there could still be a way. A dangerous but marvelous mode of transportation. But... It won't work without a golden ergo. Two As large, believe, round, <laughs> golden ergo. Well, I glass. guess I gotta go to the swamp. Along with all the other fairy tale characters. Lady Antonia so has heard about the grand exhibition. She realizes their cure is meaningless. Her illness has worsened. Perhaps because she lost hope. I fear we might lose her soon. Lady Antonia cautions against it, to be sure, but I still believe that gold coin fruit is our last hope. I have heard about an oh, alchemist Jesus. who knows how to use that most miraculous of medicines. Please find a way to treat her. How's the cure for the petrification disease coming along? Glad you asked. It's going well, thanks to you. Sadly, it cannot cure everyone completely. Victims who have progressed too far have already lost organ function, and there's no way to restore that. Even if we eliminate the petrification disease, they won't last long. Their passing might be less painful than petrification, though. I leave the choice to you. A longer but painful life, or a quicker but peaceful end. question is, do we pull the plug on Grandma, or do we let her go and... Uh... <laughs> 
when her pass into the next life. I shouldn't be laughing. That's just, you saying pull the plug on grandma is for some reason very funny to me. <laughs> I have a lot of people face this choice within their life. Well, for selfish for reasons, I want to extend her life to see her like live throughout the rest of the game. Morally, I believe probably she should just die a quick death. You can also discuss this with a puppet butler. She can be cured. It feels like a dream. No, not exactly. The possibility of imminent death though. Why won't pain ever leave her alone? I cannot make this choice. Dang it. Every option is painful. <laughs> what would you choose? Dang it. <laughs> Uh, I guess personally I would not. I see that you too are reluctant to bid farewell to Lady Antonia. I will dispose of that cure. What? Lest I be tempted. Please accept this token of my gratitude. He gave you money. We did the bad choice. Yeah, I do want to give her the cure. <laughs> it's music, it's really. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> Finally, some peace and quiet. It was on the title screen? I don't know. Whoa. Why is the title screen on fire? What do you mean? It wasn't on fire before. What are you talking about? What fire? There's fire in the background. What is going on? <laughs> mm. Yeah, we do no, not. No, I guess that's it. Okay, yep, well. We'll stick with it. We'll live with our decisions. Oh, well. I don't think it's too big of a deal anyway. Can I say that lady leaning against the column? I never had her at the hotel because I never found her. I'm afraid you saw my bad side at the Grand Exhibition. I was able to escape, thanks to you. I'm a soldier from outside Krot. They sent us in pairs to investigate. I got trapped by the blockade and separated from my partner. I don't think the puppets are the only things at play here. Can I stay with you until I get in touch with my partner? When you say partner, do you mean like friend, partner, like co-worker? Partner in the army. Or... Are we talking are cowboy? Doing here? Feeling what partner? Is yeah, she's partners of the I cowboy. I get the puppets. What is that? Just, just weighing options. So you met Simon. Mm -hmm. I've been dreading this conversation. You know him? I should have told you about Simon earlier. But it's the sort of thing you have to see to believe. He is the most dangerous man in Krat. He spreads mayhem and death for a delusion he calls evolution. Simon wants to We all know that we were created by God. In Krat. If you can't evolve yourself, you might as well evolve the world. Find the Isle of Alchemists. Someone must know how to get there. I will help as much as I can. Please, save Krat. And now it's time for Deep Lore with Connor, the part of the show where Connor comes out and shares some deep lore. This fruit was once a man. No, this fruit was once a blue jelly juice that was once a man. This man became blue jelly juice through time in the first age. The magicians and wizards of this time turned them the jelly into robots. And then the robots genocided Okay, that's enough the lore people. for me. Ergo is the essence of life. Change the memories and the, the distilled memories. lifespan of the victim. And distilled, that's why puppets that's... sometimes awaken their old selves. Mm. Or describe someone else's memories. Mm. Because of Simon's terrible experiments. The king of puppets tried to stop Simon. Oh, shoot. <laughs> but he didn't do well. We could have worked with the king of puppets now, to stop Simon, maybe. Our only hope is you. I never realized that... Shrek, although it's DreamWorks, literally has nothing but Disney characters. But... Well, I guess, like, the main characters are original, but literally every single side character. <laughs> I'd say the three little pigs in the Shrek universe are very uniquely Shrek. And the wolf. Those are, like, distinctly Shrek characters. I never noticed the sign on the it's back wall with him uh, doing a thumbs up. It's pretty great. <laughs> And it is pretty great. Theory, the king of puppets, how did he get around the covenant, I wonder? Does the grand covenant break when their ego awakens? Or did someone cause the frenzy after lifting the grand covenant? If it's the former, the king of puppets is the culprit. If it's the latter, the king of puppets is a means to an end. Will you do me a favor? Yeah. For once, it's not difficult or dangerous. Just 
give this to Alidoro? I give it to him myself, but he's ah. in the barren swamp now. Oh, perfect. We're just heading He'll there. understand the significance of this gift. I know. Love? Four finger. Gift of gloves. Uniquely, it has only four fingers. To the swamp. Hey. Yay. Game. Hey. I think we deserve to be a little fancy sometimes. Gamer is only one letter away from glamour. Misspelled, but still. Sliding. I like how there's just a horse tram that takes you all the way to the dump. And here we have our second most famous landmark in the city. Oh man, this is a real dump. Ambush me, suckers. Splendid. Resplendent. Yep. Why didn't they recycle these things? These buffets into more buffets. This place is... Okay, there's no easy way to say this, but it's a puppet graveyard. Humans call it an illegal dumping site. Oh, good. The city tried to stop it, but eventually it had much bigger concerns. If the Grand Exhibition's horrific solution spread this far too, it's just too terrible to think about. Oh, why am I thinking about it? I say. That'll boil your bones. Bender? Oh, how's the other guy? I'm Boiler. Well, I didn't well. work. Well. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Who can play at this game? Ah. Oh. Never mind. Two cannot play at this game. Fair oh, chance. I guess this is your level one. Yeah. Oh, these guys explode. Oh, he was a he was a boomy boy. He's a bomb dog. <laughs> They're not dogs. They're, They're bombs. bombs. This one. Yeah, there's literally C4 just strapped to his head. Look at that. No, not this again. Guess what, buddy? No, not you again. He's back. <laughs> He's bigger. He's crusty boy. He's better. It's too much. He's for Mr. older and Incredible. crustier. He's he is crustier. He's like Frankie from One Piece. Frankie's the crew member that's a cyborg, which is a hilarious concept for a pirate genre. Die. Well, lie or die or survive. Lie, comment, and subscribe. Comment your lie. I'm just gonna edit, lie, comment, and subscribe at the start of every video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't edit these videos to actually have them seen by anybody. It's just a funny gag for us, really. Market Garden. Not Market Garden if he's not rocket jumping before he hits somebody with a shovel. He just rocket jumped right there. He just only <laughs> moved the millimeter off the ground. He's a cleaver in his head. I guess that's how he died. So somebody was at the parade and threw a cleaver at this puppet? I mean, you know how the crowds are. The scout from Team Fortress 2 threw the flying guillotine. It all comes back to Team Fortress 2 as of recent. <laughs> as of recent, yes. Well, we can say anything we want here, because I'm, I'm going to edit all of this out. Wait, you're not dead. <laughs> no. That's why I was, I was curious why you're running away. You're gonna edit all this out? What about this? Oh, I thought he was gonna blow you up. That would've been funny. <laughs> if you could replace one of your body parts with a weapon, what body part would it be and what type of weapon? I would choose my left foot and make it a Gatling gun. You'd make your left foot a Gatling gun? Or like my left leg, like a peg leg, but it's a gun. <laughs> But it has to like somewhere. spin. I just don't remember where. You have to like have it spin to fire. And like, where would you put the chain of bullets? So like, I just lift up my left leg, catch it with my arms, and then just go. <laughs> and then I have like no balance to actually fire it, so I just fall over. Or, hear me out. I, because I'd only be on one foot, because I'd be holding up the other one. 
the firepower of it would make me spin around like a Beyblade spurting bullets everywhere. You have to admit. Darn it, I can get you on the way back. Cool. This guy sucks, let's just leave him alone. I mean, he's one of those guys that gives you good reward if you kill him. Uh. Since he's a harder enemy and he doesn't respawn. Really Plus, he uses the same three moves. I'm pretty sure you can figure this out. Fine. Fall off the cliff. <laughs> now you get to clank, buddy. Okay. Hit him, 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 <laughs> ah. Lame. Lame, oh. lame, lame. Oh, God. <laughs> lame, 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 lame. Oh, I broke his sword. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're alive. Barely. That's all that matters. Man, this sword is not good for this kind of area. <laughs> It's cutting through their yeah, swords, bro. which is pretty sick. That's pretty cool. Pull the lever. You beat me to it. Awesome. <laughs> Those damn alchemists. Terms of bargain. Almost intolerable. Oh, it's you. Well, it's not like I care about those hotel people anyway. But there are limits. Hey. <clears throat> How do you do? It's quite odd that we should meet in a place like this. Oh, don't pretend surprised that I got here before you. After all, I can elude the darkest monsters, the loftiest beings. In fact, you I want to prowess as well. I shall tell you something since we're nearly peers. They say a terrible monster lives on the cliff at the end of the swamp. It behaves like a crow gathering shiny things. I have absconded with treasures from its lair. Rare parts and weapons worthy of a hero. You're a worthy hunter, and it is worthy prey. Show that swamp monster what you're capable of. Take the, uh... What's this? A gift for a rescuer from a technician girl. Hmm, I don't remember. I've saved so many of the common people. Anyway, uh, thank her, <laughs> I suppose. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. These gloves are a mess. They don't even fit. <laughs> Is this a practical joke? My god, I never did like that girl. She's just like him. Oh, <laughs> never mind. How disappointing. Get these rags out of my sight. Okay, well. <laughs> all right then. You've oh. now unlocked the new amulet and weapon. Yes, this just gives you more damage after you hit somebody, which is, it's just perfect. <laughs> You're already hitting them. You're gonna hit them again. It is very good. Frozen Feast. It's a motivity weapon. Oh. I guess in this okay. case, let's just get the amulet. Hot dog. Hot diggity dog. What the heck is he holding? He's holding a... Burger? I don't know. Some weird scrap. Structural stuff. It's like me when I'm on a hike. I just find a really good stick. And I keep it for the rest of the hike. <laughs> you always do like really That's... good sticks. You are a dog of a person. See, my girlfriend looked in the trunk of my car and she's like, what's the stick you have in here? And I'm like, what are you talking about? It's my stick. <laughs> People clipping out of bounds in this area is very interesting to look at. I bet. Just climb mountains of like low texture puppets. Oh. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Woo! Is that a cannon? What is that thing? Regardless, I don't want to get hit by it. <laughs> it's 
is awesome. Oh no, it freed Puppet. Actually, I kind of want to do this. It's like leading the bullet bills in Mario Galaxy. It is. <laughs> oh shoot. Let's get inside. Well, inside's not much better than outside. Let's have him hit the barrel. Come on, come hit this barrel. Now you can do it. He just missed it. Okay, there we go. That's one. Hit this one. Okay, well that didn't work. I think you forgot to press the dodge button there. <laughs> right. Oh! Hey, buddy. Nice. Dude, it's a oh. guy. Got healed, brother. Here's the guy. He's, He's the, the guy. guy. He's so sneaky. You and your high socks. Alright. No, it won't activate again. You lose point. Ooh. Oh, yeah, this one. This one's crazy. Oh. This is an abomination. <laughs> <laughs> it is so slow. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. Another My favorite part is like taking the top of that or the blade and then attaching it to like a tiny dagger handle. It's like, whee, whee, whee. oh yeah, we have to try that out. So funny. But, um, whee. Uh. Well, <laughs> I overestimated how far I could fall. Yeah, yeah, that's your Achilles heel right there. Just to remind you, there's two small branching paths from before that you technically never... Oh, that's scored, true. But you, you have to go down that tower. Take a... <laughs> this guy's just standing here with the sword. Oh, I'm ready! <laughs> hey, you, a, you still have a whistle, man? I was watching some videos uh, just yesterday about the metric system and the imperial system and the history behind it. So the metric system was invented by the French, actually. The British areas and regions from, what was it, like 17, 1600, that was something, ar around there. They changed the estimates from cubits and all these different things that were used to measure things in the Roman era, all this stuff. They changed it to feet, inches, and all this, based off of body parts. And I think it was King George? I think there's that king who specifically made the length of the yard basically the span the, the measurement around his chest and he was a very fat man and so the yard was like made bigger from that point on just because the fat man was like the yard is me uh <laughs> so that was interesting the french were doing their own thing being fancy with their coffee and everything inventing they're like we're so great we made coffee and they're like we want to share our greatness with the rest of the world how will we do this measurement and so huh. they're like we need to have a more accurate measurement how do we do this rather than basing measurements off people with like forearm length circumference of a fat man's chest how about we measure it in respondents to the earth now, how do we know the diameter of the earth to be able to calculate the length of something and the solution was to have hundreds of researchers for seven years go across the French countryside using telescopes on the tops of mountains to measure and triangulate points across the entire nation of France and then be able to calculate using that the distance of France and therefore the distance of the planet earth. That and sounds so, insane. Yeah, by doing that, they came up with a calculable measurement of the meter. But the point is, it was supposed to be exact. And so, and then the whole idea with volume was like, oh, this is a meter, but 
squared, this is a meter, but cubed for volume and for calculating all the other stuff, water. And so it all worked together. It's all very scientifically more accurate. And then from that, uh, it turns out that the meter is not actually a meter. Fun fact. So what do you mean? one guy, one researcher dude during the French like experiment where they're measuring the entire nation, uh, he accidentally calculated wrong and he only realized halfway through, but because support from the world and even France itself was starting to dwindle, he didn't bring it up to set it back at all. And so technically a meter is like one uh four hundred thousand one hundred and twenty sixth rather than just an even number. So, so, yeah, meter, that's how that came about. And I used to always think, you know, why, why don't we do the metric system here in the U.S.? And that's because when a French ambassador was coming over to the States with, like, a kilogram and, like, a meter stick, you know, for the rest of the U.S. to use as a reference point to make all the other ones, they were taken over by pirates, British Caribbean pirates. And then, like, these guys were like, hey, this is a package addressed to the Secretary of State in the United States. Let's bring it over to him without any context. <laughs> and by that point, it was too late to where, like, Thomas Jefferson wasn't there anymore. And so they gave it to the next guy up who had no idea what it was. And so he just gave it to someone else, and then that guy just kept it. And so the metric system was just never adopted in the States because freaking pirates. <laughs> The French guy never survived to uh, actually explain what the hell a kilogram was. I'll let you focus on this one. Got a flaming sword. A flaming sword. So sick. Now's a good time to use cat dust. I am Spider Noir. You cannot backstab this guy. He's an extra hard guy. I'm on fire, I'm on fire! Getting heated. No, if you dodge roll it runs out overheat faster. Yeah. Put on an attribute. This is just a modified nice. version of the standard one. It's just better. Yeah, with just bigger moveset, flaming sword. Pretty cool. <laughs> Got no range now, buddy. He really doesn't. I eat swords like yours for breakfast. That's right. I'm a sword swallower. Recharged amulet. What's it do? I can become fully charged. What? You can just restore HP? Yes. It's just slow. Oh. But so over time, it does, like, work. Oh, yeah. I can see it. Technically, like, over time, it heals as much as, like, extra pulse cell. So with the metric system, I always, my whole life, was like, dang it, U.S. should switch to metric. We should try Definitely. all this stuff. There's two problems with that. One, people have tried, uh, and they've done experiments on trying to convert people in the United States to the metric system. Now, the problem is that whenever people learn the metric system, they don't actually use it. What they do is that they use a reference to the imperial system to understand what the metric system is saying. And I actually completely agree with this because I've been trying to do this for years as an architect. And I physically can't do it without just comparing it to my estimations that I know from the imperial system. It's like the way your brain gets set up when you're growing up. And with culture, always using terms like feet, and miles for everything over here in the United States. Kids growing up, they can't even be taught the metric system without like asking what it is in like feet and inches instead, just because culture itself is oh. still completely so we just have in the to imperial teach system. Kids it. Here's the thing: we are teaching kids this in schools. It's not working. Huh. <laughs> it's not working at all. Because here's the thing: day-to-day -day life, metric system is not very useful. The, the idea of Having like, oh, every unit of measurement in the metric system is like one tenth of the other of one hundredth, it's very easy to convert mathematically. The truth is, in real day-to-day -day life, you're never measuring something in like centimeters. And then you're like, oh, I wonder what this is in kilometers. Like that it's just not a it's not a thing you do unless you're specifically in a science thing, good job. And then when it comes to feet and inches and all this, 
like a centimeter, you can look at something. You can never really guess how many centimeters it is because it's too small. But you can kind of give a pretty good estimate to how long it is in inches or in feet because that's what you can physically conceive as a person. Easier than like, oh, a meter is really long and big, and then a centimeter is way too freaking small. Theoretically, decimeters is the solution to that, but no one on Earth uses decimeters except for So it's like, it's very, very difficult to use the metric system in day to day life. I don't think I've even heard of decimeters. It's one tenth of a meter, in comparison to a centimeter being one hundredth of a meter. I feel like I maybe so. did bad on a test on this in school. <laughs> It goes millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, meter. No one uses decimeter. <laughs> um, even though it, it should be, hey, let's measure in decimeters and units, because centimeter is just too small to really measure anything that's not tiny. I didn't even know about this until an Italian man <laughs> by the name of Davide <laughs> last time I was in Rome. So that's that long conversation. I we should just create you. a new system. Thanks for listening. Called the Connor system. You have a measurement that's about the size of a foot. Now you have like new measurements. So it's like, okay, 10 feet is now a cent a foot. <laughs> and then a <laughs> hundred feet is a deci foot. Corbin, the Connor method would be the normal unit of length is the diameter of a domino's video. <laughs> <laughs> the domino effect. <laughs> All right, I'm going right, to talk to this weird guy. Oh, yeah, I'll stop. So they do exist. Other puppets like me not bound by the Grand Covenant. Oh, shoot. I thought I was forever alone. I get that, man. Without the Covenant, my kind hates me. Monsters, humans, puppets, they all hate me. But I want to be friends with humans. If I learn how to feel... Would that be possible? If you tell me how, I'll return the favor. Okay. <laughs> Nod. Hello, my only friend. Ray. What have you come to tell me? <laughs> Hello, my only friend. Teach about Like, sadness. really, really, really I making me feel guilty about leaving How scary losing someone can be. I may not be able to cry, but I hope I can comfort others now. Thank you. Here, you can clap. Clapping is... Uh, the mimicry of a joyful heart. It's good to feel alive. <laughs> Thanks. So I guess I can teach gestures that I find. Yeah, These levels um, of um, emotional gestures. Oh, also we can tell um, her that her glove that she gave him was not well received. For yeah, her glove. let's go shove it in her face. We're gonna have to lie out to her. Humanity, there's nothing else akin to it other than like lying about a gift. Be like, oh, I love that gift you gave me. Thank oh, you. Oh, I love it. Happy Christmas morning. <laughs> it's gonna go right on my shelf. It's the lie that everyone does. Did you give Ali Dodo the gloves? <laughs> Uh, even the union's advancement test didn't make me this nervous. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm ready. Tell no expression, just no. nodding head. Did the gloves make Ali Doro happy? No. He was very happy. Really? What a relief. Gloves seemed a logical gift because I know he lost a finger. I was there, after all. When the workshop tower collapsed, the Hound lost a finger saving me. We could have starved to death trapped under the rubble if it wasn't for the Hound's sacrifice back then. I, uh, I don't want to think about it. And yet I can't forget it. Thanks. Should I was go to too therapy. shy to give such a gift to him myself. Speaking of gifts, I mean, I got something for you. You try to find a therapist Take in this economy. Really, Let's talk to the robot butler. I'm sure he'll listen. Isn't this. that interesting, Corbin? She made him gloves. Yeah. That were specifically only with four fingers because she knew that he lost finger but he didn't lose a finger so it's not actually him who saved her mm. or he somehow grew back his finger and just grew it back like a mustache also slightly heavy so if you want to lower that you can slightly heavy is fine with me i've been running like slightly heavy most of our playthrough Cluster grenade. This guy's taking down trees. Butterfly. Good dodge. <laughs> this place is a mess. I just gotta go around. Oh god. Oh, cannon. 
Forgot about that. Me too. Butterfly. Some really wide open spaces here. Yeah. I think this is the most wide open a level has gotten. And it's beautiful. Oh, he can swim. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, angle's off. Dang, that's a good angle. Oh, friends. There is a lot of crap going on right now. I kind of like how chaotic it is. It's just funny. I'm still shooting. Here. Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> I wonder if I can get the gun to shoot at the puppets of the future. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. That's a mo real monster mash now. <laughs> it's crazy. Awesome. You can't really get up the tower until later, so yeah, you can either choose to come back out. to fight them. It'd be kind of funny to fight them. You would have killed most of the other small guys. That's true. Pretty easy, though. You're gonna die. Oh god, that was close. <laughs> yep. Awesome. <laughs> god, what's from that? You killed nature. We killed a robot in nature in one swoop, so... We were, we're at net zero for the environment. Save me. I was really 50 50 on that. I was like, hmm. This is the one game it's where probably... trees aren't invincible. <laughs> Dude, that thing went straight into your butt. <laughs> <laughs> At least this makes it an actual, like, fight. Getting his legs. Yeah. Here it comes. Nice. <laughs> Stalker, and you have Sherlock Holmes's jacket, and you have an owl mask. Ah, this Sherlock must be Holmes's quite an jacket? urgent patient to seek out my humble abode. You are still breathing. I must treat you quickly. Grant cannot have any more live patients. Hey, trust me, going. it's better this way. It is far nobler to die as a human. Don't fight me. <laughs> no, can't move. Hey, and if you're not alive, then you must be dead. That's just logic. <laughs> It's not logic, man. Heal. Nice. Your best mechanic. <laughs> yep. What was her name? Uh, I don't recall. Ooh, heal after this. This guy's beefy. It was technically like a mini boss. Ooh. Good range. You can just space him. Combo game is sick. In my judgment, the doctor. Oh. All should move. end while they're still thinking. I, I... It's a doctor's assessment. Mm -hmm. 
After all, okay, no vital right. signs. It's only one guy. You must be dead. I'll dispose all of right. you properly. <laughs> He's like, parry. Dude. Ooh. Big jump. Follow-up is crazy. It truly is. This guy is like a rabbit brotherhood feel to him. He's like tricky, but yet also has a melee weapon. I remember now. My Adelina. Got his mask. Hey. Oh. Oop. He puked on you. Uh-oh. This is the way. <laughs> this is not the way. <laughs> oh no. Oh well. no. Well. <laughs> Fly or die, but you won't be dry. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to come up with a funny name for my Wi Fi since everyone in my building can technically see the name of it. And I was like, I want to do something clever. What was it? Why guy the science fi or something? <laughs> like, so. Currently, it's labeled as not your Wi-Fi, know your place. That just sounds mean. Yeah, do you have any other cool suggestions? You could do classic one like, help I'm trapped in the router room. <laughs> or, or you could do 5G, my G. Don't know. What happened? I looked away for one second. If the dagger has a forward stab, it makes you step forward. How about who Wi Fi, when Wi Fi, how Wi Fi, why Wi Fi? How about who Fi, what Fi? What? Uh, I don't not, know if I have enough characters yeah, to do that. Yeah, that's not very funny. Who, what, when, where Wi Fi? Who, what, where, what Wi Fi? That's, that does sound the best. I'm currently going to make it help I'm trapped in the router room. That is really funny. Dang it, it doesn't fit. <laughs> okay, I'll make it Y guy the science five for now. Hello? Yeah? I'm back. Okay. So, I changed the Wi-Fi name. Turns out, that disconnects you from the current Wi-Fi. <laughs> you should just name your Wi-Fi then... Domino's Medium to Top of the Pizza. <laughs> hey, I, f I found something wonderful. It turns out that my old Wi-Fi names remain on the list, even if I change the name of it. So I could add a lot of Wi-Fi names. Dude, don't be that guy. People list. are going to have a hard time finding their Wi-Fi. That was too close. Oh. That was way too close. That was too close. <laughs> Did you cut this blade so that it doesn't scale with advance? Oh shoot, right. I forgot. I do not have an elemental build anymore, so I can't use this as effectively. Well, back to the, the dancer. The something something tiny dancer, whatever that's on. <laughs> Sorry to pull cool, that weapon for you. I just noticed. I was like, huh, you're doing very little damage. It's no joke. It's true. You could upgrade. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're really kind of close, man. <laughs> Could be shaking my boots over here. I was just gonna get run over the, by the boulder. I think so. What? <laughs> you can't physically get it. Yeah. It's too late. Oh wait, it's not. I was just glad you didn't get, like, rolled off the cliff side. Yeah, me too. Bear traps. Those are just everywhere. Now. Bear. Oh, it's an actual bear now. Look, well, you do have the flame, so it's actually good. Boom, dead. Oh, shoot. That was Dang. awesome. Forget how status effects are powerful, yo. As well. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Did you know that was gonna happen? Uh, there was no you way I was. Perfectly. Yeah, I knew something was gonna happen here. I was like, "There's no way. You got the perfect bait. You got a house here. Of course you're gonna enter. I don't see a door. It's clearly a door. Something's gonna bust." It. Although there's something else in here that I didn't see. <laughs> you didn't anticipate the double whammy. <laughs> Hey, the double shot paired with the attack, that's pretty good. Yeah, my previous amulet only gave me extra damage if I perfect buried. New spear. This looks like a city sign or something. Sign. It has good range. You get to step forward as you attack, which is kind of very useful to close distances while spacing really well. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have an arc, so you won't bang against anything. I kind of like it. Master Fanini's collection box. You are indeed full of surprises, sir. Destruction. Your grindstones. More stagger? Like that. Oh, shoot. A drill blade. Satisfied. Weapon critical rate? I forget oh. if that's backstabbing people or if that's just while you're fighting someone. It just randomly has more chance to do more damage. I should look that up. I'm curious. If you could, that would be appreciated. I'm doing it for me, not for you. <laughs> <laughs> Crit only applies to attacks that are animation locked, triggered on red slashes. Okay, so either backstabs or when you knock them down from a heavy attack and then stab them. Oh, so you could like you knock stab. them down, then activate the grindstone, then stab them. If you have enough time. Yeah, that would yes, be cutting yeah. up close. Uh, increases max amount of HP, stamina, and legion. It's like a triple yeah, whammy. That is a really good one. I think that one's rated one of the top amulets. Punch it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Keep in mind, you can also switch a different blade on that spear handle if oh, you want. Shoot. Before you upgrade blades. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't even really a weapon. Oh, dang it. I accidentally sat on my right nut. Oh, I'm in pain. Oh, God. <laughs> Laverne, why? <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> you can just swing it for like a big matter. Okay, well, oh. that's, that's faster. Man, these are such good peanuts. Boy, these peanuts good. Are they honey roasted? Uh -uh. Just default peanuts. Roasted and salted. It's weird to call a food default. Those are just default almonds, man. You should yeah. get the upgraded <laughs> almonds. <laughs> oh, there you are. What the heck are you? This thing is... Weird. Is like a, is it just a giant child? Have you ever seen that Twilight Zone episode of that kid who's just really big? Get the hell out of my room! I said get yeah. out. What a strange. Quite persons too. <laughs> he just wants friendship, and I refuse to give it to you. He has very weird human-like eyes. Yeah. Sort of like those eyes you put on dolls. I can't get it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait. You're alive. I'm alive? Oh, you landed. <laughs> what is this? needs to put you to bed. Okay. Oh, that man exploded. Leaping amulet. Yeah, that makes sense. Increases max stamina. The Tower of Nunya. 
None of your business. That was a good attempt. <laughs> that was really funny. Just too slow. Just gotta open the door. Get on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. Everybody do the dinosaur. This is now an open house. Come on in. Check out this new tower. Real estate. It's on the market. Just buy it. The disposal system is close and explicit. Great view. Great view, yeah. Only mild poison. Open Lake floor plan. <laughs> open floor plan. <laughs> You really feel the outdoors being brought into your home. I always love the ones where it's like Bowser's castle. It's like the whole castle surrounded by a moat of lava and it's like, we did floors. <laughs> nice dirt crumbling effect. Very cool. Good job, developers. Uh-oh. Sekiro Whoa, snake is coming. Earthquake. That came from the direction of Krot Central Station. Oh, Central Station. Bad, pal. Really, really bad. Oh, dude. Oh. There must be some way to open this. It took you so long to say that. There it is. It's so long. Hmm. This guy's checking me out. Oh, uh, uh, hey, are you a Sounds treasure like hunter too? Sims. It's strange to me someone in my line of work. I know how this looks, but I'm not a thief or anything. <laughs> I am on a serious expedition. You wouldn't happen to know a, a treasure hunter named Alidoro, would you? I'm a big fan. I plan my expeditions to follow looks like Alidoro's the traces, but ugh, this lock has me at a dead like end. Winnie the Pooh. And I so wanted to explore the hermit's cave. Well, like, just look at his uh, eyes. All I can do is keep snake. plugging away. There it is. <laughs> Maybe I'll get Ooh. this place open. He sounds like the same voice actor as Jiminy. Oh, maybe he might be. I know there are rumors about Alidoro. The rumors? <laughs> well, for starters, they're nonsense. Alidoro is the last person you'd suspect of crimes like fraud and theft and assault. Those alchemists must be behind it. Would you get a load of this? I grabbed it as a souvenir. Fraud impersonation? Is he who we think he is? My treasure. Well, this is what I've got so far. It's a cryptic vessel. A sort of cipher device? I think it's a clue to some stolen goods. Alright. Oh, we should go get this to Benini and track down the treasure. There you are. Now, just leave this to me. Done. And done. Old shackles in Malin District. Here's to a lifelong friendship. Yeah. Oh, two guys. Two go brothers. Find... Let's go find the shack. Shack. Is it your shack? Is it me shack? Or is it a Bendigo? Is there a guy here? Shoot I don't remember it. How did you find this place? They sent you, didn't they? Those guys blabber about loyalty, but when the chips are down, they'll stab each other in the back. I don't know what's inside, and I don't really care. Take it with you and hurry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you got four. What? <laughs> Fall into a trap. Never get so. This guy's the patches of this game. Just get punked. I did not expect to get punked by that guy. Me neither. How elaborate is this trap? Oh. Not too elaborate, it seems. I looked up a video of like what happens if you walk around the edge of it, get the chest, and go back to him. And he's just like, oh, uh, but uh, oh, you got it. Oh, that's good for you. That was interesting. Yeah, really weird. Oh, he just took off. He's gone now. I wish instead of giving me dog masks, I could find more types of top hats. That would be better. How many types are there? How many types of dog masks? No, of top hats. Can you think of? I don't know. Like you one could... without a propeller? <laughs> Helicopter hat? Inspector gadget? A beanie top hat sounds kind of cursed. It's never been How done about before. a top hat, but it has a baseball cap? I should. Oh, that's <laughs> awful. I hate it. It reminds me of those like tall hats that like British constables would wear. Oh, boss. Let's see what this is.
killed the cameraman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Vines and bug towns. But yeah, it's got like snail. Oh, it can burrow. Yeah, you got four now. Uh oh. get it to its second phase. It has to have a second phase. There's no way this is just a one phase boss. I don't know, Corbin. So much damage first time around. I don't know, Corbin. Maybe we'll find out next time on Brother Grumps. <laughs> That's not what this is. Game Brothers. Yeah, brothers be, of Game. To be Game Grumps, we'd have to release unedited video every day, which none of us are going to do. I don't like the name Game Brothers, because you say it too fast, like Game Brothers. It sounds like Gay Brothers. <laughs> What I do like about the critical, or the start of the fatal attacks, is that it gets rid of all their regen health, so they don't regen if you leave them alone. Oh, nice touch. Oh, it's puking on me. Hello. It does like less, like the fatal attacks do less damage than Dark Souls, but. And you beat him. Good job. That's half the doubt. Combination of swamp and machinery. <laughs> Still has a mustache. Is this basically the police spot? Oh yeah, it's 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 the first boss, but it's swampy now. Different attacks, but some are similar. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, what? This thing is weird as hell. Oh, oh dear God. <laughs> that was so brutal. Uh. It's even less jolly this time around. Well, let's better customize our gear to be better resistant to weird status effects. You also have two quartz. Yeah, let's go use those.
Oof. Whoops. Oh, I know the moveset. You sure? Well, now I do. You got it. 100% guaranteed. Yup. Won't die this next attempt. That's a 100% guarantee that I'll get past first phase. Oh, cool. If you lose, you give me a dollar. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty low stakes. <laughs> When you get decayed, your weapon breaks super fast. I have no idea how I didn't get hit. Hey, yeah, I know this face. Ouch. It's not the fastest grab, but like... Now that you know, like, tell for it, yep. it's kind of odd. It's, the monster loves to, like, stand on its back two legs and just put its arms in the air and be like, yaw! But that specific yaw means... That specific yeah. yaw. There you go. like a pulse cell on that one. Nope. As long as you get the flame on combo, it all works out. Which I guess it doesn't matter. Hold on. This guy does not stay as much. Oh man, that's tough. Ooh, that's good. Gonna keep doing it. Just keep going. That was a blam. If you do not perfect parry that, he will just smash through you. That was funny, at least, <laughs> to use all the consumables. Although that was probably thousands was of air so going down the loud. drain. My ears were just... <laughs> you know this one. The weapon always completely break? Was that always a mechanic? Yes. That's why I was trying to keep a warning. I was like, dude, too low durability. Still up fairy. It's tough to keep track of that with everything else I'm juggling. Because you're juggling literally a whole inventory. <laughs> I might have to equip a consumable to instantly repair my weapon. Is there one? Yeah. It's called a little uh urgent repair tool. Very useful. Okay. I think we're in consumable range here almost. I want to heal one more, just in case. Oh, 
Thanks, Karen. Five seconds. I didn't mess you up. As soon as you told me to heal, well, there's also latency between here and like California, so. Or okay, that's fair. Five of those seconds were actually two. Oh, I'm sorry, Edmund. Nah, that's fine. We were close though. Extremely close. I am not getting these perfect guards. Well, what music do you think I should put over this attempt run? Can you think of anything particularly relevant? Yes. Yes, I can actually. I'm just Pinocchio, not a little if I don't choke you. I think, yeah, it's called War by Edwin Stone. I feel like you could tie it in and then get rid of it. I'm gonna go make me some dinner. Yeah. You got this. How did you take control of you? <laughs> I know I'm gonna finish this in like two tries. I think it'd be funny if it took another 10. This one's not too bad. 